so we're here with the Barford SR124 today and we are going to go over the maintenance schedule. This is printed right on the machine so that it is in clear eyesight at all times and we're going to walk through each step today with you. Starting out, the first thing we're going to check is the coolant level. And to do that, you would remove this plate and then your uh, radiator filler cap will be right there available where you can look in and see what your, when your level is correct. We're gonna check the engine oil level. And so you have your dipstick back in here. And so you're gonna pull that out, check to make sure you're between the min and max levels on the engine. All right, next we're gonna check the fuel level. Hit the right button to get your menu and go to next. Toggle through till you get to the screen. You can see we're at 73 percent or three quarter level on the fuel. Make sure there's not water in the fuel, so you can see the fuel separator. So if you see that get clear where there's a lot of water in there, then you need to check drain out your uh, diesel fuel and put fresh fuel. In. The thing you want to check is that your service, your air filter service indicator, is not activated, and that's this dial right here. We want to check the screen, make sure everything's clear. We're going to look at the screen cloth. We want to make sure there's not a bunch of holes pegged up. If so, we need to clear those out with a hammer. We want to look all around the screen body just to make sure there's not rocks built up that might be impeding the shaking of the screen. Okay, next, we want to check and make sure we have enough hydraulic fluid to run all the conveyors and the screen. So this is your sight level. You have a max and a min. So you want to keep the level in between there. So next we want to check all of the conveyors and make sure that they are clear and the belt's not too loose, so this is really good. Also want to check, so on rollers, sometimes you'll get rock build up. So you want to clean that out so that it's not wearing on your idler there. And then also daily, you want to run the grease into the screen box itself. And so there's one on each side, you'll need an extension on the grease fitting to get down to that, but you want to grease that every day. Once a week, you want to grease all of your conveyors. So you can see a grease bank here. This is for the short conveyor bringing the fines forward. Also on all the product conveyors, you're going to have a grease point on the cylinder up in the middle and also at the bottom. And then on the other side, you do your pulley. So you've got your bank, your two for your head pulley and your two for your tail pulley. So you want to grease those once a week. You'll want to check your belt scrapers and just the overall condition of your belt. So you can see the belt scraper on that belt feeder. You just want to make sure it's tight against the belt. You're not getting a lot of carry back. And then also just to check the condition of the belting. Make sure there's not any gouges, rips, or anything like that. 